All right, Leo, let's go ahead and do a bonus for you guys. By the way, happy birthday. I feel a bonus, and this is pretty specific, so I don't know how many people this will resonate for, but here we go. Um, I'm going to say it's like this, but you could also reverse this if you need to. It could be for cross watchers as well. But um, let's see, let me get some more paper here. Leo bonus. I think someone here is, um, they want you to choose them. They want you to choose them. I wasn't going to say that just like that. I mean, yeah, but they want you to choose them. However, um, I don't know if you're going to choose them. I don't know if you're going to choose them. Honestly, I don't know how you feel about this person either. I don't know. I don't know if you got love in there, but you're just kind of unbothered about it. Like, I don't know if you're wrapped up in the same type idea that they have, or you're wrapped up in the same type, some would say fantasy as they have. Um, this could be a very good person. You may have no, no problem with them, but when it comes to like, whatever they're wanting, I feel like you don't it's I don't know for you it's different you may even think of someone like literally legit as like only a friend it reminds me a little bit of Libra's message actually you may think of them only as a friend uh it could even be an ex of yours you may think of them only like I'd only be cool with you in that way you know what I'm saying like you're cool to hang with you're cool to talk to and things like that whatever some of you I don't know, it could just be someone you've gotten to know, but you don't really, maybe you just want to be alone. You got too much shit going on, you know what I mean? I don't know, I just feel like somebody wants you to choose them, That not your ex, not your other ex, if this already is an ex, not your other ex, me. Me. Don't you see how much I love you? We could do this. We could, they, like, they have it all planned out in their head. They genuinely, someone here is like, uh, they want things to either return how they used to be between the two of you, or if it's a new person, they want you to all out be, they want to be the one. They may be even convinced, like, depends on how deeply this person is for you, but in their mind, they're convinced that, like, y'all should get back together, or you should be together, period. You're the soulmate, the twin flame, blah, blah, you were meant to meet each other, there's this, and the past life together, blah, blah, blah. They're convinced. You absolutely are not. I don't know how you used to feel, but you're not. In fact, you're very much about you, yourself right now. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It could also be uh, connected to an Aquarius. That is your opposite, though. But because I got that for an Aquarius message not too long ago, something about Aquarius who's just focused on them. You know, and people don't, they can't, they have a hard time understanding that. When, when people are focused on themselves, people get really bent out of shape about that. You know, it starts making them feel a little insecure, and then they start feeling like you're a player and this and that. This, this message actually feels different than Libra's, because Libra's felt... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It was kind of, it was a little bit funny, but just because I was picking up on Eminem, the song Superman, y'all know what I mean. So if you look up the lyrics to Superman, you'll know where I'm going with that. Or just watch the video. But, um, yeah, like, you're just, uh, you've got a lot of your own visions, your own plans. You're very serious right now. I feel like you're not fucking playing. You, you have, you just, you have something that you really want for yourself in your life, okay? Whatever this is. And you can't be getting distracted by things like this. And that could offend someone to hear that, like things like this, are you saying I'm a thing? No, you're a person. But if you need something specific and you're, you, you find yourself getting upset because I'm not providing that for you or I'm not able to fork it over or cough it up for you like a relationship or a lifetime commitment here, then find someone who can do that. Like you're a great person. I just don't, you don't return the feelings, just be honest. You don't return them the same depth, the same level that this person has for you. I'm Come on now. You know that you don't, unless this is entirely reversed. Some of you do not return the feelings for someone. You just don't feel the same way. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. I know someone right now who always gets flirted on with this guy at this gas station, okay? No, it's not me. Um, <laughs> I heard someone be like, is it, is it you? No, it's not me. Um, it's a younger person, and this 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 guy likes her very much and always flirts with me sweet like it's it's really sweet but it is sweet is sweet yeah it's sweet you know but it's like it's either there or it's not and I'm not really looking for that right now you know I'm not I'm not that's nice yeah like somebody gets hit on a lot here like people really like you and they find you really attractive I mean you're hot you know but maybe you're just like not focused on that some of you it could be because you're in a relationship and you're faithful 
you're not going to cheat on your partner. So I don't think the majority of you watching me are in a relationship or married, but if you are, for the small handful that's watching me that is married, you're not cheating on your partner. You love your partner. Kudos to you. Like, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, they can like you all day. They can flirt with you all day. They can throw little things here and there. Like, you can tell you're not stupid. You're very observant. You're one of the most observant signs, you and Virgo, in my opinion. And uh, you can tell, but it's like, okay, like you're not even sort of interested, period. It wouldn't matter if this person was like Brad Pitt or fucking Tom, Tom, what's his name? See, I already forgot. That's how much I don't give a fuck. People were like going crazy over here back in the day. Tom Cruise. But he don't even care about his own kids, so fuck him. You know what I mean? I don't know. You just kind of like see straight through somebody. Like you're like, mm-mm. Like, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Now, let's say it's an ex of yours. You may have even considered or toyed with the idea of getting back with an ex of yours. And it could be like a recent ex, like your most recent ex. Maybe you are trying to like see where things go, but you're just not really feeling it. Like you're just not. You can't get over the things, vice versa. You can't get over the things that happened in the past. I mean, it doesn't mean you don't forgive. You just can't forget it, you know? And you're just not there anymore. It's like, mm, I just think we're on different pages. Like, I, w I think you'd be fine with being friends with someone. You're okay with that because you do have a loyal heart. But at the end of the day, you know, you don't just let just anybody in that special space in you. That's very, it's like limited access. You know, you don't just let anybody have backstage passes to your heart. Oh, I'm going to title it that. I like that. They're looking for a backstage pass, though. This person looking for a backstage passes to your heart. Oh, I like that. That seems like that could be like a song title. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is about you, 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 and you, you know? Um, now some of you here may be like kind of closed off to someone because this is not for everybody but some of you may be closed off to someone it doesn't have to be romantically but it could be because maybe you feel like they every time they want to be around you they don't they want to do it without your kids around or something and you're like then if you don't accept my kids then you don't accept me po you know like damn that was some rough shit right there you are serious like if you don't like my kid then oh well we'll never be together we'll never be back together I don't know it's something like that there's so many ways this can go this message is layered or because you hurt my child then now I'll never let you back in unless you like I mean you'd have to really you'd have to really 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 like it admit your wrongs you'd have to really take accountability just like I fucking had to so you would have to or else this is a this is like a it would be an absolute hell no I'd rather die you know like you're dead serious like I off with your head um some of you you know like let's say it's a family member or something you may be like mm -mm. like I'm not going to be cool with you if you're cool with someone or if you're not cool with some the other person I love or I'm not gonna be like you know I don't know you're loyal you're loyal to here you're either damn loyal to yourself and you're not wavering on it at all or you're really loyal to another person here and and so that would mean that you are you have limited access you're not just letting just anybody in and a lot of, why do I feel like a lot of you this is an ex of yours if you're married to this person like they may want to um still be like some type of way or they just get back together or have sex again or whatever I don't know and you may be like look I love you but like tough love tough love we went through a lot of shit did you forget all of that did you forget like there was a time when I was completely cut wide open for you and now I'm just not anymore like, I'm just not. What do you want from me, you know? Now, uh, let's change it up a little bit. I want to change it up a little. Backstage passes to your heart. That's what someone's trying to gain access to. Whoever they are, however they are, a stranger on the street, a stranger in the grocery store, an ex of yours, uh, whether you married them or not, I don't know. It could have been a re the recent, the most recent ex you had. I don't know. Um, anything. It could be a one night stand, a fuck buddy, a friends with benefits, whatever. Even they're wanting to gain backstage passes to your heart and you're just like, whoa, listen. Don't all come at me at once. <laughs> yeah, I was like, mm. you know, maybe even somebody's trying to like slide in your DMs or like they're trying to, you know, take up the majority of your time or like they want to hang out with you. They want to make sure they talk to you the most so that you don't have much time to talk to anyone else. And you're starting to see it and you're like, listen, listen. 
Now, let's change this a little. Let's say it's not romantic. Somebody may be trying to gain backstage passes to your life, and you're just like, look, I've done that before, and I just, you know, I don't just let anyone in my friend group. I don't just let anyone in this private group. I don't just let anyone in my house or in my car. I don't just let anyone go through my phone. I don't just let anyone have my phone number. I don't just let anyone, you know what I mean? Like, um, hmm. I don't just let anyone have my time. I take my time very seriously. I take my life seriously. I take people who get to meet my children very seriously. I take anyone who is in any type of special bubble that I have, I take that very seriously. And uh, other than that, you know, you're not, you're definitely not a sellout. You are not um, disloyal in any way. Definitely not to the people you love and certainly not to yourself. You fucking love yourself now. This is a very healthy self-love very healthy you worked fucking hard to get where you're at now i mean there could have been times you didn't even know how you were going to get through the next day the next minute you could have even been you know maybe you had to go to a special place before i've been there too where you know you may have had a moment where you broke down and you needed to regroup get yourself back together and um you're just you're very maybe even stingy with your time you're stingy with the time of those that you love because well you love them so you'll give all your time there, your grandkids, your grandchild, if you only have one, your child, if you only have one, or your kids, if you, that's it, the people you love, and you're close in their circle, and it's like, listen, I don't just let anybody, you know, maybe you date somebody, and they start getting close to you and everything, and like, yeah, they're cool, you love them, you like them, I don't know, I don't, whatever, I don't feel like you're that serious about them, to be honest with you, I can feel when you are, I know, you know, but anyways, and so they want to start, like, uh, having, like, I don't know close relationship with children that you had prior and you may be like okay that's where I draw the fucking line that's where I draw the line now you're making me uncomfortable because I don't just let anybody get close to my fucking kid or my children like that's a different that this is this is in like a glass case it's like people trying to get access to your china and you're like I don't just let anybody have my fucking china okay this is like hand-me-downs this is like passed down very special to me this is very very fucking special to me you may think it's not special to me because I don't take it out much because I don't show you this side of me much because I don't use my china much no it's for special occasions and I don't just let anybody and they're like but I'm just not anybody I'm somebody very special where so we've I've been here the whole thing it's like oh okay now that's where I'm really gonna cut it off you know like someone here is like trying to gain access to your pet or your dog or your body or your time and be like oh I want to go I want to go where you go and it's like maybe I would like to go by myself maybe you have a certain spot you like to go or a certain I don't know man this isn't gonna be every story you know and they want to do it too a friend a lover an ex and you're like no I like to go alone or I like to go with a specific person. It's my walking buddy or something. And they're like, well, I want to go. And you're like, mm-mm. Mm, I don't know. I say go with your gut. I say stick with what you're doing. Stick to your guns. Stick to your guns on something. I mean, this could be anything, guys. This could even be, like, family. It's like, can I have a key? I want a key to your house. Like, because what if I ever need to get in? And you're like, listen, I don't just give anybody a key to my house, buddy. And they're like, but mom. And it's like, listen, I love you and all, but listen, I'm not giving you a key to my house. You can camp out in the back. You know how to jump a fence? Do that. You know, and they're like, oh, but I'm your son. And, I'm your, and you're like, okay, listen, I got to watch my fucking back. You can't trust people these days. And it's like, damn, what are you trying to say? And it's like, if you're going to get bent out of shape about that, then that tells me everything I need to know. You know what I mean? Like, you're not <laughs> Honey, let's say you have teenagers, right? And they're like, hey, can my girlfriend come over? It's like, listen, no. Why, mom? Why? Or can my boyfriend come over? Why? Why can't they come over? And you're like, listen, because this is my sanctuary. Yeah. It's about the only place I'm not going crazy right now in my life. It's my living space. And I don't just let anybody in my fucking living space. Okay? You may think you love them. And three months from now, you'll be with someone else. And even if you're not, I don't give a fuck. Respectfully and disrespectfully so if they get bent out of shape whatever you can go over there all day but you or maybe you say no you can't go over there i don't just let you go places if i don't meet their family or i don't know what's going on over there you're not going over there or no i don't just let anybody come over here i don't want them knowing what my locks look like on my door and the layout of my house so that what when y'all get mad and y'all break up with each other they try to break in that i gotta beat someone's ass hell no like you know trust issues can we say no it's called boundaries ho it's called <laughs> damn <laughs> 
Maybe you were too lenient before. Maybe you were too lenient. <laughs> Maybe you were too lenient before. And you're just like, listen, I have certain things that no. No, people may even be not saying anything to you, but they may be inwardly thinking, I wonder why they don't let us inside when we come over there. I wonder why. And it's like, well, you can stay over there and keep on wondering because I have a right to d decide what I want to do. This is my house. This is my car. This is my yard. This is my phone. This is my number. This is my blah, 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 blah. This is mine. Mine. It is mine. And y'all don't share with just anybody. I'm going to tell you right now. You don't share with just anybody. You just don't. You know, you just absolutely don't. No, you will share with those you love and those you trust, but there's not many of them, you know, and you're definitely not going to open up your life, especially because you're very protective. Leo or Crosswatcher, definitely a Leo. You're not just going to let anybody close to those that you love the most. You will absolutely not. You'll rip somebody to shreds before they even have a second to even get a breath close enough to something that you love, someone that you love. Literally like the, the saying over my dead body, 100%, 100%. That's it. <laughs> That's it for your bonus. Thank you guys for being here with me. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye. I think I just spit again.